there's a chance that this is your last fight or are those things that you're speaking of like did that kind of reroute you a little bit? Yeah, I feel motivated. Um, during this training camp, I was very open-minded to being like, all right, let me read myself, see how I feel physically and also mentally. If this is something I still feel like I have things to offer, am I as good as I once was? Can I still evolve? And as the camp went on, man, I, I really think, uh, like skill set wise, still, if you take one skill at a time, I don't think there's really anybody in the UFC in any division that has the skills in stand up the wrestling and the jujitsu like I have. If you put it all together and average it together, I think I'd be right on the top of the list. So I got to be able to put it together and, and perform in the cage. But during the camp, I was looking world class. I'm very grateful for the career I've had and everything I've accomplished, but that doesn't give me like complacency. I still feel like I have more to offer and more to show. People were telling me that Khabib, after he fought uh, Justin Gaethje, was going to grab the mic and call me out. So that means Khabib would have gone up to 170 pounds if you guys would have fought. I think it would be either 170 or, or a meet in the middle. I think most guys that fought Khabib were afraid of Khabib take down, so they were fighting on their heels and they were getting backed up to the walls. Khabib could have beat me. You know, I don't. I'm not saying I would have beat Khabib all the time. I'm just. I was confident enough to take that fight that I'm, I was thinking that if I take that fight, I'm gonna beat him that day at that particular place, at that particular, you know, that doesn't mean I will beat him all the time. You have to think in a way that you tell yourself, if that happened, I'm gonna do that. I think a lot of guys, they make the mistake doing it to the fight, say, hey, I'm, I don't wanna go there. And once they go there, they panic. If there's one thing that you'd be like, all right, man, he may have the edge. Would you say the age? Age of recovery, yes, that's one thing. And if you put me, my back against the fence and start chain wrestling me, I'm very good in that position too, but that's his game. That's where he could potentially fatigue it. you. Yeah, there's, yes. there's, there's something about Khabib that a lot of people don't really feel unless you're in there. Khabib, what he does, he does a good job of. It's a slow pressure that he puts on you. Like you mentioned, the Michael Johnson fight. Even though like you're hitting him, boom, 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 you're, you're landing clean shots, but it's a slow pressure. He's still there. He might back up because you hit him with a couple of shots, but he comes back. And we're locked inside a cage. So over time, you can't run too far. He's there, he's there, he's level changing, he's there, he's there, he's there, he's there, he's there to where all he needs is that one. Put you up against the fence, jump in there, get that chain wrestling, and now he starts to go to work. I need to not go down. And so once you do go down, if you're not mentally strong enough to know, okay, I'm gonna get up, it's just a floodgate. It starts to open up.